Every time. Let's keep up, baby. Uh. you did it again, man. Every time we on good time, you always seem to mess it up. Always seem to mess it up. Leaving me stranded without telling me what is up. Without telling me what's up. Excuses, excuses, is what to tell me. What's going on, everybody? I go by the name of Nelly Shaz. You're now tuning into Going Up From Here, a show that honors all you individual artists out there through the musical genres of hip hop, soul, R&B, and jazz. And of course, when I come through, Shorty comes and delivers. I have another fire artist right next to me. This artist is a protege, actually a jack of all trades. I want to give a big shout out to my girl, Kiara. What's good, boo? Hey, what's up, Nelly? Hey, it's Kiara, baby. You know what it is, 757. You know what it is? Follow me on the gram, Kiara Howard at K I A R A H O W E L L. Let them know. Hey. Let them know. You turned up already. I can't even deal with you right now. You already lit. <laughs> <laughs> so today, um, the topic is gonna be jack of all trades. Yo, like okay. when I knew you was interested in being a guest in the show, I was like, yo, I need to find out about you. And then I'm looking at your stuff, I'm like, yo, sure, do you play the piano? You cut, okay, you put your own music, you master your own, your own music, you write your own music. And I and I know you singing too. You be singing and adding your ad libs in the songs too. I'll be singing you know yeah. I, I know because I'll be hearing it in the songs, especially you got this, but we're gonna get to that a little later because you did you okay. just track every time. So yes, we're gonna we're gonna get no, we're definitely Drop gonna get available that. everywhere. I That's right. music. You Talk know your <laughs> we ain't playing games. Look, we ain't it, playing games. <laughs> <laughs> but it was funny because I also found out that yo, you were like a track and field star. I was, yes, in a past Crazy. life. Yes, I was. In your past life. So how did you make that transition? Because it was to a point you could have been in the Olympics. You I mean right. you're like that. And then it's like you're pursuing a career in music. So I want to ask you why music? Well, music been in my life since I was a child. I had a keyboard since I was three years old. So when I had nothing, music, my keyboard was always there. I had my keyboard to sing it to myself. You can ask my parents today, I was always humming all the time. Yes. So music has been heavily in my life with my family and just my dad giving me instruments as young as a child. And then it, sports became in my life. Like first it was music, then sports. So even though I was athletic and I got to the point where I was good enough to start training for the Olympics, um, I did unfortunately start picking up a little bit of injuries, you know, when I got to college, you know, they yeah. tell you all that freedom <laughs> was gonna hit your head. You like, ah, ah, I'm about to do this, this, that, this, they didn't they didn't say all of that, okay. They didn't know I didn't know college was gonna be so great. Living on right. campus. You know, young, being sheltered, you know what I'm saying? I, my dad's a Christian, so I was in the house most of the time. The only music I could listen to was gospel music, and he allowed me to listen to Leash Keys. You okay. Know? So she was a, yeah, she was a... Uh, Big influence. Was, yeah. Mm. yeah, definitely an influence. But uh, so definitely amazing. in college, I started smoking. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, you know, I wasn't really doing the best for my body you know, as an athlete where I was throwing because the high caliber that I was in, in high school, I only ate great, healthy foods, you know, steak, vegetables. Uh, I didn't smoke at all. I yeah. wasn't going out to partying, you know what I'm saying? I was just staying yeah. out late, you know, I was doing my homework and going to sleep. I had a curfew, like, you know what I'm saying? It's college, nothing like that, nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, big ass, because you went to Norfolk State University. Yes, I did. That's what's up. Um, yeah, I went to Cheney school. University. HB, first HBCU. Cheney University, first HBCU. See you, mother lovers. Hey. <laughs> so, okay. okay, right. So my other question for you is, now that we kind of got that out the way, you know, music's always been your first love, you know, you know, besides track and field and being athletic, what made you want to be a jack of all trades? Because a lot of times, you're three years old, you're introduced to music from listening to what your parents play, right? You're introduced right. to music from watching TV and watching YouTube and watching all these channels that promote music platforms, right? So at some point, what made you say like, yo, I need to be a producer. I need to master my own beats. I need to 
uh, play music? Like, what made you get in that position where it was like, that's what you need to do? Because a lot of independent artists don't think like that. They have to keep relying on other people and them always relying on other sources holds them back. So at what point was you like, yo, I need to like get my own stuff and be independent? Well, it's funny because I had no idea that, like you said, like I was going to do sports. I was going to actually, you know, keep training. But after picking up all them injuries, um, I definitely, I asked God, I said, God, what is it? What am I going to do now? I'm about to graduate. I got a degree now. And dad wanted me to go and do corporate. But I was just like, that's not what I love. Like, you know what I'm saying? I love music. Mm. It's like, well, you know, do that. And I received that. So I said, okay, so what is my vision, you know? And my vision was to be able to create music, you know, on my own without having to rely on people. Because when I did or when I tried to start relying on people, people, people got their own personal stuff going on. Especially when you are starting to come up, you know, there's so many obstacles and things that are hitting you every day to hold you down. And, mm -hmm. you know, it is just not, it's not just you. It's everybody else around you that's in that same realm trying to get to, you know, that, that area where we're trying to get to, you know. Yeah. And so when, you know, when people, you know, let you down a few times, you're like, all right, this is not going to work out at all. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore. And so it just so happened that in college, I had took a music production class okay. along with my business management. So I, I went in there for business management. I got my bachelor's. Okay. 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 Try to get that degree first. Degree two over here too. Okay. Gotta get the degree first. You know what I'm saying? Right. I had that full scholarship. Made sure I had that paper right. Okay. Okay. So okay. leaving, I, I had to choose music, but that music production class is what introduced me to, you know, Reason Software. In North State, they was using Reason as their uh, their default. So that's what I started using, and I never switched from it. I still been using Reason. Um, to this day, I'm still using a very basic computer. You know, I've been teaching myself how to uh, create my own sounds and master and engineer based on my own mm. ear instead of like doing plugins mm. and stuff like that. So, like I said, I love a challenge. So, if I'm going to be doing something, I want to be the best at it. So, Absolutely. when I made all those beats and I took all the time, you know, I probably have like 150 beats in my computer. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just chilling. It's so interesting that you've been in a position where you love music, you're creating your own sound, you know, you've been turned down on opportunities and that was what motivated you to be your own producer and to learn, um, you know, playing piano. Although you did say that you did that when you was three. Um, you've been love music and you master your music and you're really getting knowledge on all aspects of the music world. And I appreciate that, which kind of goes into your new track that you just released called Every Time. Da, 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 da. Okay. Bro, and saying, talking about, you always talking not the side of your right mouth. Of your Can't hold it, brother, just a word to say. Hey. Say your man, how about being, can you play? Hey. hey. <laughs> Child, baby. Oh, too First so of, like Yo, it's funny because, you know, you've been promoting your song and you had a little bio about it. And you talked about you've been having, you're struggling in relationships. Yeah. Like you're struggling and, you know, people always, they, they talk the talk. Now, my thing is just being observant and like, who got time to be with you? Like, you're doing a lot. You got too much going on. You producing, you, know, you mastering, funny, you got time. Mm. It's true. And, and you know, it's funny. It's true. But as soon as Corona had came out, it was like I had all the time in the world, and you know, being the way I am, I it was like my music is one thing, but I need things to to I need real things to write about. I'm not one of those people that just write about fake stuff. That's yes. not that's not what it is. Like I need to be able to relate to it myself. I need okay. that healing, and I hope that somebody else can relate and get that healing as well. Mm. Like, like no, no, I see that because like when I'm looking at you. Make sure you go check out on Instagram. Make sure you have follow her and everything. Like you check up the pictures. I'm like, first off, your body is crazy. Your, your, you are in shape. Okay. So I don't know what kind of fitness plan you got going on. If you got to be like Billy Blinks or whatever, like I'm down. Just make a fitness tape so I could be like you. I want to be, I want to be like Kiara. Baby, you ain't going to be trying to look good and have your stomach out like that. I wasn't, I was like, I was hating a little bit. I was like, yo, yo. <laughs> 
I was like, hair popping, the body popping. I was like, yo, surely, yeah. like, how do you gotta, you shouldn't have a hard time. People, I mean, let's say this. Let's keep it a thousand. You know, People are attracted to you. People are attracted to you. Definitely. You can't get, I'm sure men and women come at you. Hands down. Definitely. Definitely. Am I speaking facts? Fendi facts? You're speaking facts. You are speaking facts. But that's what I'm saying yeah. is like, but you wrote every time and I'm hearing it. I'm like, who was you messing with that got you in your bag like that? <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny? In every I don't know if you have you just listened to every time, or did you get to listen to any other music? I focus more on every time because I'm like, yo, okay, I just okay. I just wanted to kind of like get in tune with that. I did check out some of your other songs, but every time really caught my attention. That caught my attention because it was like to me, like that's really breaking down who you are. And being that you write your own music, I you could kind of feel somebody out just by how they write and how they explain the situations. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times people be writing songs and it's like, they be the victims, but it's like, nah, bro. Yo, you was wrong. Like Donnell Jones, um, Where I Want to Be. Song Goes Hard. I don't know if you know it, but... Um, no, I don't. Look, look, look. I'm going to tell you right now. You got to put me I'm on. Right now. My friends like, what kind of producer are you? You don't even know people music. No, I do not. But you got to understand, they'll hold that whole first 18 years of living, I did not listen to a darn thing, but Mary Mary and and, and everybody. And oh, so Adam. you was like, it's the God in me. That? Like, yep. that's okay? Yep. Okay. Lift every voice. The black anthem, the black gospel anthem. Lift every voice. <laughs> Respect, you know what? I respect your father for that. I respect him 100% because look at these kids now. I see kids talking about body, yada, 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 yada. They twerking at a young age and thinking it's okay to get money by shaking their ass now at a young age. Now, I ain't knocking anybody that does that because, honestly, I love strippers. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure you do. I love, I love vibing. I love drinking. You know, I, I love a lot of things. But I just, I wouldn't want my daughter to be like, this is something that I want to strive for. This is something that, oh, they can get a lot of money doing that. Because the truth is, we do need more doctors. We do need more preachers. Mm -hmm. We do need more people of color doing those things so we can have people of us in those areas because everybody can't be a basketball player everybody can't be a football player everybody can't be a rapper everybody can't be those things that is seen on television we still need people behind closed doors that's a, you, and everybody wanted the spotlight but you know hey now nah, sure you can be a basketball player nah because i see i see there was a clip with you um playing ball on the court and you was holding people ankles were broken and then you was moonwalking on somebody with the ball. It was like, yo, son, you're not about to moonwalk on me and break my ankles at the same time. That's not what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm so weird. I'm not, now, look, don't get me wrong. I can ball now, but most of that most of that was definitely um, when I moonwalk. You know, he was just playing like Corona. Like, yeah, but his head was like, no, that. <laughs> yo, no cap. I had a lot of fun doing that video. I'm not going to lie. That was for the karma video. This was, uh, and it yes. hasn't released yet. Yes. Um, I would say the name, but he has he's he's been working on the um he's been working on the video for a minute now and he's got so much personal stuff. So I was like, man, just you know, just give me the, the drive back so I can like, you know, give it to somebody else. You just keep working. <laughs> but <laughs> I gotta get it to somebody can get it done. Like what in the world? You be trying to be loyal. You know, and, and it's really hard because people think they're gonna be loyal to you, and, and mm. you're not you're not doing the work for them to be loyal. I'm sorry. I'm mm. sorry. Listen, say that louder for the back because you've been in too many positions where it's like you providing a platform. You know what it's like to not have an opportunity. That's the same way I'm doing going on from here. It's like you know how many people I've tried to network with, and they're like, oh. Well, I've been there and done that already, and I don't need you. It's like, yo, you never know who I meet up or who I'm connected to. Right, exactly. Somebody can start from nothing to and two days later just skyrocket and be popping. Right. So it's, it's like true. you can't be burning your bridges. It's, it's I mean, it's just it's just like a stock. 
you know, whatever they funneled up, whoever they partner with, at some point, you know, it's going to trickle a little bit, trickle a little, might go up, might go a little down, and eventually, woo, it just go right up. Exactly. It depends on who you partner with and who, hello, who exactly. That's all that matters. That, exactly. Exactly. Um, so what would be some advice that you can give to an independent artist that is, is trying to be on your level? Because like I said, you're a jack of all trades. And I'll, I'll give you an example. I've worked with a lot of artists that they don't, they're not their own producers. They don't master their beats. They don't do none of that. And they go to a producer, they get a beat from the producer, then they, they add their lyrics and make it a song. And then they want to promote their song, get their song on other platforms. And then when they're signing contracts, it's like, we need to get the owner of this, this song. And it's like, well, dang, you, you don't really own the song. You do if you have like a limit to licensing. Right. But the producer, essentially, that's his track. Whatever you put on his beat is still his regardless. So it's like, wow, you're stuck in the dark. So now the producer's going to be making money off of the artist, um, you know, putting the music out there. And it's like, yo, the artist is always getting screwed. So what would be right. advice for you? to put an independent artist on the track of becoming independent? As an independent artist, you gotta know that yourself is the product, right? Mm -hmm. So a product needs marketing, you know, a product needs things in place like contracts, forms to be given to certain people. Maybe it's a third party for, uh, for distributing services, but you definitely wanna cover yourself in all angles. So with the music per se, I'll get the copyrights first www.copyrights.gov this mm. is real stuff look this, this is stuff that people aren't going to tell you because people up there they want to be able to rip stuff from the people from the bottom and they want to make sure they get all the money so i'm telling everybody now everybody mm. know on nelly chance this is how you don't get ripped off and this is how you make the money and this is how you do we your seeds that you so y'all ready all right www.copyrights.gov once you get an instrumental lyrics whatever whatever it is you could be humming it a recording it doesn't even matter just send it in put a title on it publish it with your publisher well whoever your publisher is look bmi ascap and i believe uh sees mac uh if i'm not mistaken bmi is free i know for a fact so go ahead and sign up with bmi now today okay it's free and copyrights they like 35 dollars. i think they did bump their price i'm not sure last time i checked it was 35 dollars each for each song so just make sure you have a budget make sure y'all write down everything whatever it is write down the process because you can go back just like school you can go back and look up your notes like oh this is what i did first oh this is what i did oh this is what i did look i can't remember stuff so i gotta write stuff down Okay, so after you get your publisher, you send it with your publisher, then you put it onto stores. You pick your third party. Who do you want your third party to be? Now, you can partner with someone who sends the stuff out to the stores for you, make the website for you, and do all that stuff for you, or you can make the website for yourself. Okay, so there's, there's so many different ways that you can do it. You can make the website for yourself. Wix.com allows you to make a, a, a website for yourself. Drop it gems. Uh, very low cost. Um, the people that I use, okay. I was using TuneCore.com, but now okay. I switched over to DistroKid. I'm um, trying something new. I they see got that. Things where you can make memes and a uh, hyper follow link. Uh, Reverb Nation is great. It allows you to have a profile, put all your music up there, sell your music up there as well, hook up all your links as well. So maybe that's not your main website. Maybe you have another website. So everything you want to make sure it links all together, right? Right. <laughs> Mm. Where am I at? What chance where I'm at? Because I lost where I was. <laughs> <laughs> now I felt like I was in church. I was a hallelujah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir, girl. I was having a whole spirit with you talking. You were saying too much. I was a man. I didn't want to be extra, but I was like, oh, I can't even talk. I can't even look at you right now. Mm. Yo, a round of applause. That was like the most well said, thought out answer. <laughs> That I've seen, like, honestly, I've never had such an orgasm just with you talking <laughs> and putting them gems out there. You was putting them gems out there. That's, yo. Okay. I respect, you know what? Would. That says a lot about you, yo. That says a lot about you, not to cut you off, but a lot of people that are in positions of power and opportunity, they don't want to spread knowledge to people like that. And you really was right. breaking it down. Like, yo, do this and do that. And it's just like, yo, Definitely. this is why you're going to be successful. Win. Definitely. I want to see us win. We all got to support each other. We all can be millionaires, really. 
we need but you know what but let's let's break that down too because a lot of um people of color or the black community a lot of us is not really supporting each other it's very competitive right. everybody's all for self and even if i have meetings with other people maybe they have a clothing line or something like that and it's like well i don't see why you have a production platform why i need your services um, first off, I'm connected to people that are artists and they're upcoming and on the rise and maybe they could wear your product. I mean, just right. because, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many ways. Maybe a like, partnership. Like, you know what I'm saying? Collaborating. You know, artists going to pop up. And they you never know. Clothes. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's not how people think nowadays. It's, it's a shame. But, you know, that's why I take people like you and I appreciate you having a show because, Absolutely. you know, that just that shows a lot about you. You're talking about me. Like, look at you. Look at you, little real recognized real. What's up? What's you up? already know what's up. You already know the vibe of me. Ain't nothing fake over here. I love this show because going up from here, when you think about it, anytime you start somewhere, you got to start from the bottom. You know, it's Drake true. said it started from the bottom. Now I'm here. He didn't really start from the bottom hard, hard like that. But what I'm saying yeah. is that everybody starts somewhere. Everybody yeah. starts somewhere. So it's like, I can't hate on somebody that only got like four views on a video. They got potential, but y'all not trying to hear these people. I'm the person that's looking at the person with the four views. Because a lot of times, a lot of artists and independent artists that I've come across, their music is fire. Their mu I'm like, yo, this only got four views. How many times you go on YouTube and you watching videos and it's like, yo, why is this not like blowing up? Right. It why is Jake Paul? Look, come on. It's crazy. Look, uh, people don't even know. They probably noticed, but the record, the record, the late, the entertainment industry is changing, period. Yeah. But the music game is changing so fast because yeah. of smartphones and, and the internet. And now that we're able to be independent artists, it's definitely going to change. We're, we, we might not go, it might go to an era where people are not signing themselves to a label anymore. The labels will be, be working for us. But it's the only way to out. do that is to put us with the leverage of the most money. The only way to do that is what? Work together. That's the only way because they already got their stuff in place, right? So we've mm. got people that got podcasts. We got people in radios. We got, we put our own things together and make our own platform. We just build up independently while they, while they over there and wait, waiting for everybody to want to sign it like away. No, no, you work for us. I want a distribution deal, blah, blah, blah. Now you, you, now you use your resources to go get it out. And, and if you're good enough, we're going to get a double take on this money. You get this percent. <laughs> like that's how it needs to be. Like, Michael Jackson, Ray Charles do. Come on, speak on it. Speak on it. They're not trying to hear you. They're not trying to hear you. They're not trying to hear you. Just because of his talent. It was his mind, too. His mind, too, behind closed doors. Listen, ooh, because I already, ooh. Listen, <laughs> you're saying a lot right now. We're going to definitely talk. We're going to, yeah, we're going to definitely keep in touch. Um. Cause I already know what you're going at with that. And I, I get it. And like I said, people don't realize a lot of times when they're like signing their lives away, cause that's what's really happening is like, you don't really have right. control yourself, that you're signing your life away. So you can't really have full control over what your vision is. Like your vision will be tainted in some way, mis way or form. It won't be purely like, you know what I'm saying? You can't directly get that and then bring exactly. it, like, you know what I'm saying? It's being infiltrated in so many different Oops. ways, business aspects, pe other people's visions, and you want to make sure you do your vision. It's so important for your vision, because nobody has your story, nobody has your shoes, nobody is you. Woo, Kiara, unfortunately, I got to end the show. I do not want to end the show because, yo, you was dropping all right. gems all the way through. Oh my God, like, that's the one thing a lot of the audience will definitely appreciate. And I, I thank you for even putting it out there. So let the fans know Definitely. how they can get in contact with you. Definitely, you guys. Um, I'm not going to get my cell phone, but follow me on Instagram. It's at mention K-I-A-R-A-H-O-W-E-L-L. -L. Okay, that's Kiara Howe for you. And my email is K-A-H-Posting at gmail.com. If you guys have any questions, or any concerns about, you know, your independent journey, please feel free to contact me. I'm not going to steer you wrong. I promise you. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> bruh. First off, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show. And I, I, I know I already said it already, but like, seriously, I so appreciate you taking the time out, 
dropping them gems. You know, you are just such, you have such a beautiful mind. And I love that you're so willing to help because I know you also have um, a society, All Music Society. You've, yes. you've even also created a platform for not only other artists, but for people like myself. I have a podcast, um, you know, people that's into right. acting or whatever kind of intermediate um, media realm, like you're creating a platforms for that. And I just want to say, I respect you. We all respect you. And there's only one way up. And it's only going up from here. Okay. I'll see you guys next week. We got another fire artist. We got Kiara in the building. Hey. Hey. All night, when you disappear, when you ain't there, ooh, girl, I swear, I lose it every time, I lose it every time. That's a good one. That's really good, girl. That's good.